I, I see things as I got a windshield and I got a rear view mirror. And the windshield is like my mission statement and the vision of where I want to go and the man that I want to be. And, and that's mm -hmm. my, my windshield. I spend most of my time looking there and it's the biggest area to look. And so this is where I'm going. This is, and, but I also have a rear view mirror and the rear view mirror is those times when I wake up in the morning and I really don't feel like doing the thing that I know I should be doing. And so I take a peek in the rear view mirror. I don't live there. I don't dwell there. Too many do. I just look in the rear view mirror and I'm, and I'm like, okay, do you want to go back to where you came from? And that quick look, it's a real, it's a real quick answer. It's like, no, there's a lot of pain associated with allowing myself to be the man that I was. And so I just look up there and I take a look, quick look in that rear view mirror and that's enough for me to get up and just get moving. And because what I realize is that um, the day that I just lay there and don't get up is the, is the first day and the first step to going back to where mm -hmm. I was before. And, and it's, you know, it's a, it's a motivator for me. And what I found in working with men is for a lot of men, unfortunately, it takes that. Yeah. It, it takes some level of pain to enable them to become disciplined moving forward.